All right, we are heading into the finals for D3. This is Richard Schaefer. Richard, give us um, kind of a recap of how you guys have been playing this weekend, what your win-loss ratio has been. All right, well, we've been playing really well this weekend. Uh, we've won all of our matches, and we've dropped very few points, and we're really excited to uh, see how this goes. Hopefully, we take it. All right, well, we only got 20 seconds on the clock, so I'm going to go back to you guys so we can see how this first point goes. So getting into this next matchup here, D3 Final 2014 PSP World Cup. And right out the gate, it's absolute chaos and collision. Los Angeles, or sorry, LA Wrecking Crew and disaster striking here as absolute chaos. Looking like, I think absolute, wow, that was a crazy first point. That was a crazy point. point. Yeah, so we got Marcelo Margot from the Los Angeles Ironman up here, along with Todd Martinez and Eddie Marshall. So, wow, that was a... Uh, uh, absolute chaos. Yeah, that... <laughs> I mean, I'm looking Very at the guy in the middle. pun right there, Todd. Coming up for collision, and he gets a major penalty, so I'm like, oh, that's going to be bad. So I look back at the backfield of collision, I look forward, and collision's running down the snake side. I look at our chaos side of the field, and everybody died. But I didn't see any flags come flying in the air, so it's either some mysterious red flags or some really Good awesome shooting. on the break <laughs> shooting <laughs> by LA Collision as they're going to finish with uh, two bodies alive as well. So number 21, Christian Navarro, and at number 12, Nicholas Sweeney coming through for LA Collision, closing out that game and going up 1-0 over Absolute Chaos. I think it's the Wrecking Crew, LA Wrecking Crew. The LA Wrecking Crew. Yeah, so LA Wrecking Crew here in the D3 final, scoring the first one. So nice job for LA here, 11 minutes. It's a 12-minute game to race to four points. It's good to see a California team in there. So Marcelo, you guys made it to the finals. Uh, I'm sorry, made it to the semifinals. Want to pick your brain on the event for you guys for Los Angeles Ironman, but we're going to head to a quick commercial. So think about it. We'll All be right, right back. So we're watching uh, L.A. Wrecking Crew taking on Absolute Chaos. First point went to L.A. So Marcelo, you guys made it all the way to semifinals again. Hard-fought battle. Didn't pan out your way, though, man. Absolutely. You know, uh, damage was just a little bit better than us that one. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm going to want to get a little bit more out of you than that. But I, I definitely <laughs> do agree that that, yeah, they, they beat you. So they're moving on to the finals. So here we go on the breakout. And here we go. Absolute Chaos going out to that Dorito one on the break. Looks like Chaos tries to get into that snake. He makes it in there alive on the break. So a lot of field taken by Absolute Chaos, but they lose London Lewis, who spikes a pod. Seen that from him before with a face full of paint out of that snake side corner. So four bodies left alive for Absolute Chaos now in good field position for the LA Wrecking Crew. Yeah, I think LA Wrecking Crew. They definitely have the advantage right now, two in the snake, but you know, they need to be playing the tape. I don't like seeing both of them shoot inside like that. They're allowing the uh, absolute chaos guy to just kind of dominate down the wire. And it looks like a major penalty is going to be assessed on the LA Wrecking Crew as they lose their entire snake side, or the entire Dorito side, as well as their back center player. And down the highway, oh, making a big, big move, move, is going to be the last player from absolute chaos. So. Absolute chaos now getting on the board to tie it up at one here in this race to four points. Under 10 minutes now on the clock. But in D3 and D4, that's still a decent amount of time. You know, again, only 12 minutes in regulation time. 
But so, Marcelo, break down what you were saying. You don't like both guys looking one way. Kind of break this snake down side because, you know, you were, you played this side real well. You know, you take the whole event into consideration. And, uh, you know, so for people out there that are, you know, the snake side's crucially important. What's working over there for all these teams? You know, especially on this field, this snake is huge. It goes from one end all the way to the other, you know. So I would really like to see that first guy in the snake dominating down the wire. And what that is going to do, it's going to draw guns from the Dorito side and the inside of the field on him. And the back player can then come in, and he should be the one shooting inside, trying to pick up those loaders, barrels, you know, whatever he can. Uh, when you're both, you know, looking inside, it makes it really tough. You're not going to get those shots. Yeah, so let's check out this replay here. So here's that highway move with nobody on the Dorito side coming down, getting one, getting two. Oof, nasty. Making a big move in the finals to put a point on the board for Absolute Chaos. Yeah, that was a beautiful run through there for Absolute Chaos on the snake side of the field. And kind of started to see, I feel, more highway moves as teams were mastering this field. You know, it, it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, you got practice, but when you get to the, the tournaments, just... The angles are slightly different, and obviously the tempo and the pace of the game, and you're, you're playing with you know, tournament paint, you're playing with mm -hmm. real refs, things are just different. So it kind of took a little bit of time. We started seeing a lot more uh, moves being made down that side, and not just standard, like, completely commit moves. Guys kind of, you know, um, either juking guys or pausing up. A lot of guys in the snake able to live, too, sometimes in those highway moves. Well, and that, the guy uh, from Absolute Chaos that made that move, you know, his first ball had to be right on. Uh, when that guy in the snake, too, he came up over the top and he got shot right away. So he didn't have a chance to actually shoot the player, and the guy got two guys out of it. Yeah, nice run through again. So we got about 15 seconds here before the start of this next one. So we'll see. It looks like, honestly, with our chaos right now on your screen, they have three bodies already shading towards that snake side. That's a standard breakout here on this field. Uh, two bodies towards that D side, three towards the snake side. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're going to see the same thing from, uh, from Los Angeles. Los Angeles all the way to the snake on the break. Both teams actually to the snake on the break. Los Angeles wrecking crew losing one off to the snake side, Dorito. Absolute chaos in the snake, as well as the wrecking crew. So both teams have a snake presence here, but better field position slightly for absolute chaos. And more bodies, though, coming off right now for the wrecking crew on that D side. And it looks like they have three bodies looking at absolute chaos as four. Wrecking crew in the snake, the snake corner. Guy just came out of the Dorito corner, moved up into the Dorito one. He's trying to put pressure on the snake side of Absolute Chaos. Absolute Chaos with those three bodies over here on the snake side, though. Definitely are in control as they have the extra gun advantage. They're using their snake side corner guy right now to help keep that Dorito one player of the wrecking crew where he's at so that he can't come any farther down the field. But now coming back down the wire, just kind of trying to overpower Wrecking Crew down the snake. Absolute Chaos did lose one body off that Dorito side, so they just have that Dorito side corner alive. Referee going to run in and check the corner of the LA Wrecking Crew. And now coming up behind his player in the snake, Absolute Chaos coming out of the corner. And I really like that move, but you know, I think it was that player on, in the uh, snake side, Dorito, if you guys call it the back center, he should have been the one to get in that uh, god bunker behind the snake to shoot the loaders of the uh, LA Wrecking Crew in the corner. But yeah, it's so working out for him. Now, our, uh, looks like Absolute Chaos has two in the snake now in the back, and here comes that highway move again. And just one player left alive, and it's Schaefer, Richard Schaefer is going to, gets him. yeah, he, get, he gets him, but then he gets taken out. So Absolute Chaos staggered attack there in the center. So nice work by Absolute Chaos here. Take back this momentum. And with seven minutes in, well, we'll see how much time there's left when they hang it up. Checking each other out. Can't hang that flag with a hit. There's Absolute Chaos now. Coming back. Going to put another point on the board, two consecutive points for Absolute Chaos. Let's get in that last check. Looks like the hang is clean, so two to one will be the score. So again, Marcelo, your guys' game in the semifinals is watching this ru uh, replay here down the snake side. Ooh, that was brutal. So the future is very bright for your team, but it must be incredibly frustrating, which is why you gave me a one sentence answer for what happened here in your guys' semifinal matchup. Um, but talk to me a little bit about it, because I, I, I actually picked you guys to win that game. Um, didn't go your way. We both did. <laughs> Sorry to let you guys down. 
It's okay. You know, I hey, Chris this is all right. Me. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's a tough one. I, I don't even really know how to explain this feeling because you, you guys both know I'm a huge competitor. Mm -hmm. um, I absolutely hate losing. I can't stand it. Uh, and as soon as we lost that game, it was it was a weird feeling of mixed emotions because I feel like the team is finally really clicking, you know? Um, and uh, everyone's playing really good together, but we just couldn't get it done, you know? And I feel like we're, we're so close, we're not far, you know? Yeah, no, I, I feel you. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm thinking podcast after we get home. I would love to. Yeah, yep. for sure. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Back in the pits right now. And just a few seconds before the start of this point here. Now looking at absolute chaos on your screen. Get ready to on the breakout. Standard breakout, three snake way. And that is pretty much the breakout for both teams, though it looks like Chaos gets out wide instead of heading towards the Snake, whereas the Wrecking Crew from Los Angeles able to get into Snake 1, shoot cross field. That is going to slow the attack there on the D side of the field, Marcelo. Yeah, and you know what? This is actually really impressive. These teams are playing this field really well and exactly how it should be. Uh, I really like that the Wrecking Crew just keeps going to the Snake. They're saying, you know what? I'm going to make you guys shoot us off the break. We're going to go until you take it away from us. And uh, Absolute Chaos hasn't been able to do that so far. Yep. And Absolute Chaos losing that body that was sent towards the back snake bunker. He dies. Oh, they lose their snake one presence as well, too. And this is really going to put L.A. here on the attack. Five bodies left alive for them as William Webb came off early. Shot by Jason Serta. And going to town right now, Christian Navarro. Once again, just peeling bodies off that Dorito side for the L.A. wrecking crew. And here comes the hammer on the last body. And number 24, Edwin. And looks like he's going to get... Dolgo Piet. Looks like uh, that might be a, a, a minor a penalty on the, on the last player. So if I there's think that was a red flag. Mm, I thought I saw a yellow. God, if that would be really bad for them. if that, Because, again, this is a race to four, man. And if you're the last guy left alive and you get a major, you have to start with three in the next one. That's... Yeah, you don't want penalties in this game, especially on this field, too. It's so fast-paced. You can really rack up the points. Yeah. Did you get a chance, you know, speaking of that, did you see uh, the uh, impact game that they played against Tampa Bay Dam or I'm sorry, against the Arcaos? Arcaos. Uh, I watched the beginning of it, and then I kind of we went back penalty. and geared down. Yeah. It ended with a uh, London, you four impact penalties pretty much in a row. That was the end of their season right there, and an amazing season that they had, but that was, uh, and it was super close. It was a very anticlimactic way to end that match, um, just getting decimated by penalties. And I mean, they, they had two players left alive to play the last point. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to win tournaments, especially at the World Cup, if you just rack up penalties. That's, that's a fact. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so this game is uh, tied up at two here. Six minutes and 20 seconds to go. So Marcelo heading in the offseason. Um, Ironman looked real strong for next year, but you got a little bit of a break here. Are you going to be teaching some clinics, traveling anywhere, taking, uh, take, actually, actually getting a break maybe? I actually leave Tuesday for South America, going to this place called Suriname, uh, doing a clinic down there. Uh, then I'm going down to uh, Australia in November, uh, doing a clinic, playing in a tournament out there, so that should be fun. Uh, and then I think Peru in January, so it doesn't really stop. And you know what? I don't really want it to. I have a blast playing the sport. It's fun. We uh, obviously have a lot of work to do, you know. I think uh, I think all the kids from up north on our team are actually going to be practicing next weekend. So. Wow. Well, again, it was a really good year for you guys. You finished on a high note, and I know that it's tough for you to hear right now because you are such a competitor. But when you keep the broad, uh, the broad narrative in perspective, like, you know, the future's bright for Los Angeles Science. Absolutely, and look at this. Absolute chaos started with three players, so they must have gotten uh, that major. You yep. were right. Mm -hmm. But there must have been another penalty, or, uh, or one of them didn't make it on the field because they started with three. Yeah, Gino Devera tries to go up the middle on the break for L.A., and he gets chopped up, as well as Jason Serta coming out here. So now it's a three-on-three. Three. Absolute to make chaos. Brought that one back. Yeah, trying to make a move up to that 50 Dorito, getting chopped up. So 
Not seeing many bodies left alive for the Wrecking Crew here. I think they might just have only one body left. So did Chaos end up pulling this out? They did. Wow. wow. London wow. Lewis stuffs the last player. So beautiful work there by London Lewis. You know, they only started with three, playing three on five, but absolute chaos. You know, that's a World Cup performance right there. That's that's what we're talking about, Marcelo. Exactly. You need to make plays like that to win the World Cup, too. You know, I think you look at every single team that has ever won the World Cup, there's always that play, you know, and uh, that you go back and you're like, yeah, this was the turning point in that match or that, you know, whatever it may be. And I, I like that you brought that up because this very well could be the turning point because, you know, now they're going to be back at full strength for this next point and they're one point away from victory. So can absolute chaos put the exclamation point on their year by winning D3 World Cup here at the PSP? Well, we're going to find out. Stick with us. This is the Earth. The Earth is beautiful. Earth is where we play paintball. It is important to recycle in order to save the Earth. Do not recycle custom paintball jersey designs. Get what you pay for. Get a fresh original design at Rosalife.com. Looking at the Wrecking Crew on your screen right now. Trying to get back in this match. They definitely blew a gigantic opportunity that Absolute Chaos gave them. That last one, man, they lost a three on five, or five on three. Uh, if you want to win world championships, you cannot do that. Also, thank you guys for tuning in, man, to the World Cup. We very much appreciate your support. And check out all the, all the different information that we have across our social media networks on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Check out our podcasts. Go check out all the season statistics on PBA. Hope you guys got a chance to play fantasy paintball. These are all the different things that PBA is trying to bring to the sport here, and it's all about your support. So we very much appreciate that support. Hope to continue it into next season. Here we go. Five minutes and 19 seconds. You see absolute chaos on your screen right there. Bringing out Webb, McIntyre, Hentley, Callahan, and Kimball. There's LA Wrecking Crew in the screen. Schaefer, Sweeney, Dolgo Piat, Serta, and Navarro. I know Edwin a long time. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did a great job at that one. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, I'm Edwin. Glad. We always call him Edwin. And rightfully so. Get him, Edwin. <laughs> so, last few seconds here before the start of what could be the last point here. Absolute chaos on your right. Los Angeles Wrecking Crew on your left. And running all the way to the break uh, in the snake is uh, Wrecking Crew, but they end up getting shot out. They lose another one, so maybe it was, you know, some of the paintball gods smiling down upon them here on the break here, Marcelo, with that ability to win that three-on-one in the last one for, our, uh, for Absolute Chaos. Yep, looks like they're going to go on and they're going to win this match for sure and be uh, the new D3 champs. And like I said, it comes down to those points. You know, it's a huge, huge turning point in the match. It's 2-2. You start with three against five. 
you come back, you win the points, just a huge momentum turn. So, there they go. Yeah, it was looking a little crazy though, because the player from Wrecking Crew that was able to get into that 50 yard line on the D side started, started stacking up bodies, but just looking at too many absolute, uh, absolute chaos players. So it was uh, Jim McIntyre and Daniel Kimball, or Kimball, that are left alive there to win this game and win the championship. So we are going to crown Absolute Chaos the D3 champions. I'm surprised they're not celebrating yet. Uh, well, their pit is definitely celebrating. You can hear all the way over here as they're going crazy over there, and rightfully so. <laughs> Let the celebration begin. It's going to be absolute chaos tonight. <laughs> it is going at. to be just absolute chaos this evening for Absolute Chaos as they just turn the club up and get chaotic up in it. Not partially chaotic. Absolutely chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, what a great job, though. And again, like you said, Marcelo, it, it, sometimes, it, sometimes it just comes down to that one point. Absolutely. In almost every match, especially in our division, race to seven, it comes down to one, you know, one point. You could always look back, and there's that one turning point. Uh, and so in a race to four, it's even, even more defined. In you your know? game, what do you think it was? They started shooting us off the break. Uh, they started I, shutting Mouse down yeah, over there. They and did, you, absolutely. And you, you died a couple times, too. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Uh, damage just, they did a really good job of containing us over there. They did the bounce shot really well. Uh, I got shot off that twice, you know. Um, that's, just, where, that's where that shot came from? Because I was trying to wonder where that shot came from. I look over your fine, I look back. I'm like, who is shooting at Marcelo right now? Yep, they bounced it off the tall cake on the snake side right into the Dorito. And, uh, you know, teams were doing that to me all tournament. And as soon as I would see them shoot that bunker, I would just look the other way. But damage, their first ball was right into me, so there was no chance to adjust for it. Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to see Damage take on our Chaos in the Champions Division final matchup to determine who is going to be the 2014 World Champions. Uh, and that's what this whole at Sunday afternoon is all about. So the next game coming at you is Prime and Revo 2. So that's two Prime teams uh, that have made it in now to the final matchups, kind of doing what Revo did at the last one, but they're playing Revo. So that's going to be an awesome matchup. Maybe. Go Two ahead. straight finals appearances for Revo now. Yep, exactly. So maybe Prime is going to be another one of those. And we've seen Prime up here before, um, but maybe they're going to you know, slowly get their best team to push, start pushing up the ranks, just like Revo did. Man, Revo looked good at this event. Yeah. I know they lost a lot of games, but starting to finally get a whole tournament to watch those guys every single match, highly impressed with Baltimore Revo. Yeah, and Revo you know, able to beat Houston Heat this morning exactly. and maintain their champion spot. So you know, even more motivation for them going into the offseason you know, bringing their whole program together. Obviously, they have a lot of good guys out there that are willing to practice, prepare, put in that time. And, you know, it's definitely shown out here two straight finals appearances. Revo getting into the Champions Division, staying in the Champions Division. Uh, you know, hats off to that whole program, everything they got going out there. Absolutely. There was the end and the finale of this matchup. So here's that highway move. And Absolute chaos getting those two bodies. You see it was his first ball that shot the snake one when he came over the top. The guy didn't even have a chance to shoot him back, which made him get two kills off of that move, you know? Yeah, and hey, man, you know, we've seen London Lewis play some big games before. Todd, we saw him uh, play in the NCPA championships and was able to win with FGCU a couple years ago. And uh, then actually came to trial for Vicious, didn't make it, but still playing competitive paintball. And now he can, can call himself a world champion in Division Three. So, you know, again, great job by Absolute Chaos. The next game, like I was just saying, coming at you, Prime and Revo. Um, it, should be, it should be pretty interesting to see what happens with that one. I mean, you know, Prime got to be feeling the momentum. You know they were helping their, their uh, D4 team out for sure. So wanted to take two of their, uh, of their, of their teams to win. I mean, that would be great for the offseason for Prime. But... So we're going to have an interview with Lauren here in just a second, and then we're going to head into the Prime and Revo matchup. So stick with us.